I accidentally became a meme, and this is that story. My name is Joe Sercule, and you may know me from this meme. Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had? This all started in the year 1999. I was five years old. My favorite thing to do when I was a kid was watch fantasy action stuff, you know, Dragon Ball Z, Power Rangers. I liked all the Disney stuff. Hercules came out around the summer before I went into kindergarten, and I definitely watched it a lot. I really liked the soundtrack, especially Zero to Hero. That was, that was a tune, that still is a tune. One day, my mom reached out to me and said, do you wanna be in a movie? There was a few schools that they filmed at for this HBO production. The reason my elementary school got picked in part was because the production manager, their kid was in my class or in one of the kindergarten classes. At first, I really had no idea what this production was about. They had repurposed one of the bigger classrooms to look sort of like a nursery. There's lights, there's cameras. I, I picked up pretty early on that it was about bedtime stories and rituals because that was what the, the people interviewing us were interested in. So they were asking us guiding questions to that effect. The red sweater, the haircut, that was like all my mom. She really wanted me to get on TV. They were asking us a bunch of questions. There wasn't anyone that I would consider a rival per se, but there were kids that were even better at getting the attention of the producers. And based on a promise I made to my mother in the car this morning that I was definitely going to get on TV, I kind of had a sense that time was running out and I didn't get as much talking time as compared with the other kids on my panel. And then they asked me about dreams. I remember this one scene from Hercules where Hercules searches out for Pan, who's Danny DeVito's character. He doesn't want to train anybody anymore and he's a failure, so that's when Hercules comes in and tries to persuade him about a dream. Have you ever had a dream? I've had a dream that I wanted so much that I could do anything. And once he said that, it, it really resonated with Pan, and Pan said, okay, fine, I'm gonna train you, and the rest is history. So that was when I came in with my Hail Mary speech about dreams. Suffice to say, I didn't, I didn't come even close to, to what, what Hercules had to say about dreams. Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you, I'm thinking a little bit slower than how I'm talking, which tends to happen, so. You, you could do so, you, you do, you could, you. But I'm kind of hoping that if I have the beginning and the end of that speech down, everything else was going to kind of fall into place. You, you could, you, you want, you want him to do you so much, you could do anything. So as everyone likes to point out, my signature lean back and smile is just like, ah, oh, I totally nailed that. If memory serves me, the reaction in the room was very deadpan and professional by the interviewers. So they just kind of let me talk like, oh, okay, yeah, dream, sure. Like, you know, run with that. And oh, you know, we're, we're all set here, Joe. Like that was great, you know, good job. I, I wasn't too sure whether they were gonna use anything that I said, but I definitely felt like what I said was really, really compelling. I didn't hear much follow-up about the movie until it was time to go see the premiere in New York. And so it was this big fancy hall that HBO booked out and they invited all the kids that had a speaking part. It was kind of a red carpet moment and I enjoyed watching the production and all my other friends that talked. Then, and then my part is an outtake at the end of the movie. The whole audience is laughing at me with the benefit of hindsight. I think they were more so laughing with me, but I didn't feel that at the time and I actually was so upset with the producers. I actually blamed them. I thought that they had manipulated the film in some way to make it look like I stammered. I didn't even accept that I had stammered on, on the camera, which isn't true, but it's just to say I wasn't a, necessarily a good sport about that, especially because for the rest of my childhood and early teenage years, that was always gonna be shown at most family reunions. Anyone in my family that wanted to get a VHS or a DVD of that documentary got it, and they all reveled in my part. And I just kinda want that swept under the rug. I wanna get past it. And it was more or less buried. And then one of my friends reaches out to me in high school and he says, dude, I can't believe it. Um, somebody circulated the clip of your video. Eventually someone put that on YouTube and it started to get momentum. It was in the tens of thousands to the hundreds of thousands of views. The last time I, I looked on YouTube at the original post, it's about 76 million views. And that's just YouTube. So now I wanna take this opportunity to say what I meant to say that time. Have you ever had a dream that was so palpable, so crucial to your goals and your aspirations that you would do 
absolutely anything to accomplish it. I've had that dream, and this is my story. Hey. <laughs>